friend to us here on the broadcast. Good Sunday to you, my friend. And um, you, Alex. Let's get right to it. Your reaction sure. to House Intel ranking membership, what he said there. It sounds like he's reached a conclusion based on his interview with Donald Trump Jr. It seemed unequivocal to me that he has connected some dots. How do you see it? Well, there's certainly a lot of dots. And uh, over the time that's passed uh, from the election forward, we have seen those dots begin to be connected. It's not full picture yet. That's where Mueller comes in. That's where the investigations by Congress come in. Unfortunately, the congressional investigations are not full-throated. They're not as robust and as complete as we should have. We've always called for an outside investigatory body. That hasn't happened. So there's a lot of politics going on within Congress, both in the Senate and the House. However, Adam Schiff has done a terrific job ferreting out the details, connecting the dots that presently are connected. Yes. We're going to see this thing continued. I am very, very pleased with Mueller's campaign, done very professionally, just step by step. And now we're beginning to see the um, investigation being fulfilled, and it's going to go right to the center of the White House. I'm, I'm curious. Um, another member of the House Intel Committee, Congressman Jim Himes, I want to play for you what sure. he told Chuck Todd about that interview with Donald Trump. Here it is. So he used this privilege claim to just not describe any conversations he had with his father, period? No, no, just this particular conversation. Again, why, why decide that you're not going to talk about that particular conversation? This is a prevailing theme in this investigation, right? There, there are things that are uh, lied about up front, that are obfuscated, that are forgotten. And, you know, you ask yourself if, you know, why would he seek to protect that particular conversation? It obviously makes the investigators that much more curious about what the content was. I should have had a junior when I said Donald Trump, of course. But <laughs> yes. anyway, is this now? Yeah. Mueller's job to get to the bottom of this, given the parameters in yeah. these congressional investigations, which appear to be giving license to Donald Trump Jr. and others to not be straightforward. Well, they certainly have been given a lot of leeway, and that's what I said a moment ago, and that the politics, the Republicans are scared to death that they could lose the signature of the president on their legislation. You take a look at the tax legislation, the ACA, the repeal of that. Those are the key policy uh, drivers for the Republicans, and they seem to put values, that is human values, accuracy, truthfulness, aside so that the president remains in power to sign their legislation. Uh, that seems to be the only goal that they have, and that is finding its way into these investigations where, yes, Donald Trump Jr. is given a lot of leeway, inappropriately so. I am absolutely certain that Mueller is not providing any leeway whatsoever, hence, the White House and the Republicans are now attacking Mueller, trying to well, discredit him. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to get your, re, your reaction to all that because th there is some, and this is also by people who once endorsed him and saying yeah. his praises to, to some degree. The Wall Street Journal is saying that some of the president's associates say they want the White House to set up a classic war room to respond to the probe. They want to hire attorneys more inclined to challenge Mr. Mueller or to spotlight what they see as an anti Trump animus on the part of the special counsel. Wait, well, what's, what's your take on this? Well, the only animus is the animus against criminal activity, animus against uh, Russia uh, going after the uh, United States elections, uh, and if it is in case of a cover-up and obstruction of justice. But, That's but where the so, animus is. But, but the catalyst for this, this possible setting up of a war room, is that because this is well, getting too close, it's getting into the president's inner well, circle? Of course, of course, that's what it's all about. Uh, you've seen this ramp up over the last couple of weeks where it's more and more trying to find some way to discredit uh, Mueller's investigation. They're very, very nervous about it. And for the Republicans in the, leg in the Congress and in other parts of this country, if this thing continues on, then their political goals are going to be trashed. They will not be able to pass a tax cut where the wealthy, the top 1% and the big American corporations get the benefit, and the uh, middle class, they're going to get uh, higher tax rates mm -hmm. over a period of time. So this is their goal, and as long as this investigation focuses closer and closer to the White House, both the congressional as well as Mueller investigation, their uh, public policy begins to diminish, and that's their concern. Do you think the fact, though, that there are those who are trying to discredit Mueller, are they trying to build a layer upon layer upon layer case so they can eventually fire him? 
Well, pos quite possibly. And certainly the president would like to have that done. He did fire a fellow by the name of Comey, mm -hmm. who was doing the investigations. And I'm sure Mueller is going to get to that point if he's not already there. Uh, that's what you call a cover up and obstruction of justice. And at that point, you've got a very serious criminal case going. Uh, we have a very serious case going of uh, how do we protect our American democracy, our electoral process. Uh, all of these things tie together. It's about power. It's about the president remaining in power so the Republicans can have their uh, repeal of the Affordable Care Act, toss 24 million people off of health care, not fund the children's uh, health insurance program so that 9 million children don't get health care, and in the tax legislation. That's before Congress today. You're going to find 13 million Americans losing their health care and every other American see their premiums increase by anywhere from 10 percent, perhaps a great deal more. Uh, all of those themes seem to be the political agenda attacking Mueller. Uh, will perhaps delay or even cause his investigation to derail. And within the Congress, the uh, Republicans do control these committees. They do control the investigatory committees. And if, in, mm -hmm. if they are able to delay that, then they want to ram through their political agenda, mm -hmm. all of which is terrible public policy and very, very harmful to America's middle class and to yeah. our future. I want to ask you quickly about what's happening sure. in Alabama right now. Of course, your colleagues, Congressman John Lewis, also Senator Cory Booker, they're all campaigning for Doug Jones this weekend. But shouldn't the Democratic Party have gotten on the ground earlier to try to galvanize African-American voters? It's my understanding that Doug Jones needs at least a turnout to match, if not exceed, that of Barack Obama's. Well, I suspect that... Uh, Every African American in Alabama is very, very aware of what is at stake here. But also, I think every voter in Alabama is aware of the history of that state's elections, where it's been almost 30 years since a Democrat has won a statewide race. Uh, so it's a very steep uphill pull. There's been no lack of support for Doug J for uh, Jones in this race, uh, and I suspect that that's certainly going to continue on the ground. Uh, your reporter a few moments. Ago talked about the uh, the on the ground uh, efforts that are being made by uh, the Democrats, and certainly that will focus not only on the African American community, but I think it'll also focus in the suburban areas of Alabama, mm -hmm. where there may be a chance to pull Republicans over to the other side. All right, Democratic Congressman John Garamendi of California, thank you so much. Thank Good you. to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Alex. Considering the possibility, would the Senate take action against Roy Moore if he comes out on top Tuesday?